It's your boy Grants coming back with another video. We're going to talk today a little bit about commanders that can gather, how to get the most resources available, and tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. Stay tuned. We're going to dive in a little bit into these commanders, gathering commanders specifically. Stay tuned, watch the video, hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know your comments down below if you have better tips and tricks, if you know any other shortcuts or good tips everybody would like to know, please leave, leave a comment down below. A lot of people, they first start the game, they need a lot of resources. Um, there's a lot of different civilizations that you can start with, but most people either start with Rome uh, because of the infantry. Uh, or they start with Calvary and they start with Germany. Uh, there's no right or wrong. Everybody has a different preference. Um, but with that being said, different people need different resources for upgrading and also for getting their troops. The goal being to get T4 as soon as possible. If you're trying to get T4, you're trying to get there as quick as possible. And the thing is, is that if you're going for Calvary, you're going to need a lot of food and you're going to need a lot of stone. If you go for infantry, you're going to have more of an even spread. You're going to need some more wood. So the type of commanders that you want um, and the type of commanders you use to gather are going to be re very relevant. So if you look on my screen, you're going to see a couple different things. So the highest level uh, gatherer, and I did not uh, do uh, the uh, highest commanders. I'm going to start with epics only. Um, just so everybody knows, but uh, Joan of Arc. So Joan of Arc has 25% gathering speed and 25% load bonus. Uh, Joan of Arc is also really popular because she does a lot of support trees, so she helps a lot in the infield battles and such. So some people use her. Um, Joan of Arc, uh, you will have to you know, be on your daily grind to get your epic sculptures. You will have to be on your grind to try to get your VIP points up so you can finally buy the epic sculptures if you choose to do so um, so that you can max out commanders uh, but you will have to grind pretty hard on an epic on a daily basis it won't be just an easy come easy go but that being said she has 25 percent gathering speed and 25 percent load bonus which is a good deal um, she's a good commander and next we have some of the lower tier now the reason I chose Constance as the first one um, many people should know uh, is because she has a resource bonus now the good thing about this is that not only can you gather quickly but you can also get additional resources uh, you're talking 10 percent of a million I mean it's just a no-brainer it's really easy uh, but with that being said you also can get her sculptures easy so when you go into your trials every day and you complete the trials when you're new and you start off and you go um, into your various things and I'll show you right here. So uh, let me get this out. So behind me, as you can see, I have this. When you go into your campaign for your daily stuff, and you go into uh, your store, she's always right here. So as you can see right here, she's only 400. And so you can constantly um, be buying her sculptures, constantly upgrade her. She's, she's really easy to upgrade, uh, and she has some of the best benefits, in my opinion, as far as that's concerned. But as you can see uh, behind me, the 20% wood gathering, really good for infantry. Uh, and some other thing, you know, walls. Walls are really expensive with wood. 15% uh, on the other gathering, so not too far behind it, but pretty good. 30% load bonus, and then once again, the 10% uh, resource bonus. Uh, so that's good with her. Um, the next one is going to be Sarka. Uh, Sarka has just an 18% general uh, gathering speed, 30% uh, load bonus, and a 10% troop capacity. So if you're constantly sending troops to the Alliance for it, you're going to want a bunch of them so that they uh, they gather for longer times. You don't have to be online every hour or every 45 minutes to try to resend troops out. So it's really good to have uh, the additional troops to be able to just constantly gather within the resource uh, tiles. 
the next one is going to be Gaius and Marius. Uh, he has a 20% food gathering, so pretty good for people who are kind of centered on uh, Calvary and stuff because they do eat up a lot of food and stone training them. Um, but 15% other gathering and 30% load bonus. So that's uh, that's his skills. And then the final one that I have, and this is the lowest one, one that I don't really get into, um, just because uh, over the years I've noticed I don't get a whole bunch of his sculptures. Um, yeah, every once in a while, whenever you're uh, unlocking silver keys and such, you'll you'll get some of his stuff. But you know the the percentage is kind of low. So um, in my opinion, the best one to get is uh, the um, Constance. Uh, just because her sculptures are easy to get. So if we go back to Centurion, he has 10% gathering, 10% load bonus, and 5% troop bonus. So he has some good stats for what he is. Um, but, I mean, once again, uh, these are just the gathering commanders that are in the game that can help you gather. And for all you guys that are older, you know, guys, uh, you have a couple different things. So KVK has, you get points for gathering. Um, and also you need uh, a lot of resources. So some people have secondary castles in which they uh, do nothing but gather in because as everybody knows, they have a bunch of fighting in KVK. You need a bunch of resources. You can never have enough to, uh, resources. So, I mean, gathering with speed, fast, trying to get the things that you need is very important. And also, to the people who are new to the game, you're going to want to upgrade very fast. So, you're going to run out of resources because most likely you're going to try to speed through or whatever. So, anyway, the last thing that I have for you um, is talking about some of the different stats uh, that you can get. So, this first picture right behind me um, is going to be talking about the gathering tree. So as you see at the very first, you have four different ways to split it. You can go to wood, to food, to stone, or to gold. Uh, eventually all of them are going to be needed. Um, but the thing is, is that if you choose, most people try to go to the bottom side instead of the top side. But if you go to the top side, um, you can try to make your way over to the more the better. Now, of course, you have to have the bottom as well. So, I mean, eventually you're going to have to get to it. But the end goal should be the more the better and then the superior tools. Why? Because the more the better, you get six additional resources upon completion of gathering. So not only like with consonants are you getting 10, but you're, now you're getting six additional. So now you have 16% of, you know, 750,000 resources. So, I mean, that's that's a no-brainer. That's just free resources. Um, and then for superior tools, you're getting, you know, uh, an even heavier bonus. You're getting 25 additional percent. Of course, in this picture, it's not fully upgraded, but uh, there are five talents for there at five apiece. So 25 additional percent of gathering speed on top of it. Okay, so this is kind of the talent build you want. You don't have to worry about the things in the middle, but trying to get to the end goal right there. Um, the next thing is just a little spreadsheet that I put together for you guys. Um, and it is some of the different people and some of the different buffs that you can get or whatever. So this does not include, uh, if you get a ruin, which you can get a ruin at many different structures in the game, it'll give you additional, um, uh, speed for gathering. Uh, it does not include uh, the bonuses uh, that you get inside of the pack. So it doesn't include, uh, you know, popping a, a, a gathering speed, uh, if you say, if per se. And so the thing about it is, is I wanted just the raw numbers uh, other than just the bonuses, but we can talk about those as well. But anyway, as you can see, with Joan of Arc, if you have 25% gathering bonus, your gathering tree as well, um, you're going to have an additional 30% on some of them. You're going to have an additional 25% once again from that last skill, and you have six additional resources. Uh, you have an additional 15% in your research. So that's the first tier that you can get to the quickest. And if you go to the second tier, which you're going to have to have a higher level castle, but you will get there, you get an additional 35%. Um, and then you go to your alliance tech. So if alliance members, you know, try to, to key in on, you know, the gathering speeds and they will eventually get to the second tier. But the first tier is, is a must. 
uh, on the first tier and then 25% on the second tier. So as you can see, you have 170% on top of that that you're getting just in bonuses um, on speeds or whatever. And so uh, one of the different things here, let me show you. So one of the different things uh, that can go on top of that, so that 70% is like I said, these boosts. So as you go to the boosts and you look at your gathering, you're getting, you know, 50% for eight hours. You know what I mean? That's that that's a huge bonus as well. And then you have other ruins, uh, you know, on top of it um, that'll get you an additional, you know, 10 or 15 percent, depending on where you're at. You know, KVK is a little higher. Um, your regular ones are a little bit lower. Um, and then uh, you have on top of that, you have gathering stats for if you have a structure. So. My, my intention here is just to show you kind of the baseline if you had a farm if it wasn't it's not intended to show you the max of what you can get because as you know you can go up to you know two three hundred percent easy uh, just by doing it but if you look on my screen I have two different marches out so I have the one that is uh, my Sarka or whatever and um, well somebody already started farming there so let me show you show you some of the stats of if she's gathering and i'm not in an alliance right now i uh i went out of the alliance so that the alliance tech didn't uh, do anything so right now it's just me um and i do have some research so it is you know a little bit elevated uh, but my intention is to show the difference between uh, a commander that has her skill set to gathering and one that has the gathering speed as opposed to one who's not. So when I click on here, you see how fast she's going or whatever. Um, it should tell me the time. So the gathering time is one hour and 49 minutes. Okay, so let's get rid of her and let's go to the next one. So this one has no skills whatsoever for any type of gathering. Um, at all and so let's see what she says so she's at two hours and 15 minutes okay so I mean right there you're already you know what 25 minutes into it 25 30 minutes of a deduct just off of that and then if I add in throwing in my bonuses which are, um, you know, that I can have, hold on. Right here, let's use one of these. Let's see what it says just off of this one. So right here, as you can see, it diminished another, uh, you know, 20, 25 minutes off of it uh, just by using that bonus. Now, if I join an alliance that has an additional bonus and then I used hers, you're looking at almost an hour off of what could be, you know, a, a, a two hour deal. So you're, you're, you're saving half the time, if not more. I mean, you guys can correct me. You probably see a lot more stats than I do. My intention is just to show, because if you're sending out four marches, three or four marches, and you're trying to build, and you use the right gathering, um, and you have Alliance Tech, and you have your bonuses all turned on, instead of it taking, you know, two, two and a quarter hours to do a high level tile, it's going to take you like 45 minutes. Or an hour, which means you're going to get double the resources. So in a day, instead of 10 million, you're getting 20 million a day. So um, that's also a pretty good deal as far as uh, trying to get you know more and more resources so that you can uh, build your castle faster and faster. All right, I'm back. So the deal is right here. I got back in the alliance. I also um, have my march to where I actually have two commanders. I have, you know, before when I was doing the test and I only had a single commander, so you could see the difference between a single commander uh, doing it 
Um, but now I have Joan of Arc and also my gathering uh, just on here. I also have my buff and I'm also in an alliance with it buffed out. So as you can see right here, let's go to the tile just to kind of get an understanding. I don't have a rune. Uh, so, I mean, this isn't by far the best or whatever. Uh, but let's see what it says right here. As you can see, it's going really, really fast. So now we're down to an hour. So a two hour and 15 minute tile is now an hour and eight minutes. So just wanted to let you guys see that. Um, anyway, guys, just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. Hope it helps some people. Please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments section uh, if you have any other additional tips and tricks. It's hard to cover everything in 15 minutes, and I'm sure you probably think this video is too long as it is. Anyway, till next time, guys. Peace. Thank you.